Howdy, howdy. It's the StartsLady.com. I promised you in a recent video that I would make a short lentil tortilla video. These are my lentils. They've been soaking overnight. I started out with one cup of dry lentils and then the four cups of water all the way to the top. You just measure it, just fill it up to the top of the quart jar, let it soak overnight, and then it has swollen that one cup of lentils to the full jar capacity. And this amount of water is exactly what we need to make the perfect texture to make the lentil tortillas. So to this, I'm just gonna add some herbs and spices. I've dropped them into the blender with the exact water that was in the container. Do not rinse that water off. Do not change it out. It is the exact amount. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of everything bagel, and one tablespoon of the truffle and rosemary sea salt. Okay, I've got the seasonings in and now we're just gonna blend it until it's thick and creamy. That is perfect. It took literally about 40 seconds. Okay, I've got three methods of creating these heating up. I've got the griddler that we're gonna heat up this pan here and do it two-sided. I'm trying something new. I've put parchment paper in the air fry rack here and I'm gonna do it in the oven, see if we can do more at one time. And then we have our scan pan warming up here on the skillet. So we're gonna warm that up and try to do some that way. So you can see which method works best for you. Okay, I've got three in the scan pan here. It doesn't need any oil because the scan pan is the best nonstick surface. It is the one that Mary McDougall swears by. These aren't pretty, but I have high hopes for them coming out of the oven. I think halfway through, I'll flip them over off of the um, parchment paper and see if they can finish up that way. And then in the griddle, I've got four more. Again, they don't have to be perfect. These are tortillas, and they're going to be absolutely delightful. I don't care what shape they're in. So far, the scan pan is the winner. I got these done in less than five minutes. I had to start the oven over for another five minutes, and the skillet griddler is going another five minutes. I'm noticing a disadvantage of the griddler in that they all have to be the same height. As you see, this one's a little bit more tiny and it's not getting cooked. It's barely touched these three surfaces here. So I'm gonna flip these over. So I flipped them on the griddler and they came out beautifully. So the one that was really tiny and dense was this one. See how it didn't get quite all the way through, but uh, we can definitely see how it's important to have them the same height. This is after 10 minutes in the oven at 350 on the bake with the fan, the convection setting. And they are feeling like they're done, but I think I wanna flip them. Okay, the ones in the oven on the parchment paper after I flipped them over came out beautifully, but it did take a full 15 minutes, 10 minutes on one side, pulled it off the paper and flipped it over for another five. So there's your three cooking options. The one on the griddler turned out the prettiest, but these were definitely the quickest on the scan pan. Before I go, I wanted to share some of my favorite books. This is Dr. John McDougall, Maximum Weight Loss, written in 1994, uh, The Starch Solution in 2004, and The Healthiest Diet on the Planet, 2016. I believe that's the, I think I got that right. Uh, Forks Over Knives is a great one. Great video as well. You can see it on YouTube. Spud Fit, uh, the author of this is just a, a, a doll, you, Andrew Taylor, you can look him up on Facebook as well. And then you've got Esther Leverage and the From Donuts to Potatoes and all the weight that was lost with these two people in particular, great inspiration. And then you've got um, several different videos on YouTube that you can look and look up anything to deal with the Starch Solution or Whole Food Plant Based Eating. Enjoy the StartsLady.com. Look for more recipes to come.